I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com and virtualsheetmusic.com. Today's subject is the myth of the thousand dollar piano. How could this be? You see them all the time. Well, we're going to cover this today and see, is it really a myth or are there thousand dollar pianos out there? Well, here's the analogy for you. If you've ever looked on Craigslist or other online sources for a car, you can find lots of cars for a thousand dollars or less. That's right, they're out there. But anybody who's buying a car, even less than 3,000, knows that you're going to have to put some work into it in order to make it operate and function safely. Maybe it needs tires. Maybe there's something more serious wrong with it. Well, the same thing is true of pianos. Now, there are some under thousand dollar pianos or piano-like instruments. There are keyboards, for example, that call themselves pianos. And for purposes, certain purposes, they can be functional. And yes, there are some decent digitals starting at about the $800 mark. Now, the other place where you can sometimes, if you search out enough of them, look on your local Craigslist, there are a lot of uprights that are incredibly cheap. And if you don't mind the old fashioned furniture styles that were popular years ago, sometimes you can find a piano that sat in a house for a long time. Maybe you can pick it up for three or 400 bucks put another few hundred dollars in regulating, uh, pitch raise, tuning, action lubrication, voicing, and you can have a perfectly good piano for less than a thousand if you're willing to do the work and have the resources. What you will not find, however, is a high quality instrument that's suitable for an advanced player. At that price point, it's pretty much impossible. The idea that there's somebody who has some Steinway Grand that they don't know what they have, it's a, that is where the real myth is. Even under 5,000 to find a high quality piano takes a lot of work and almost always requires some additional work to put it on a high level. So it depends what your purposes are. If it's just to have a keyboard to practice on or maybe an upright, you don't mind doing some legwork, there are some under thousand dollar pianos. But set your sights realistically and I think you'll do fine. Thanks for joining me, Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com and virtualsheetmusic.com.